Now you may have noticed there's no lane closures on I-59 during the ongoing construction project. That's because crews are taking a break for the holidays, but January 2nd work will resume. It's one of MDOT's biggest Pine Belt projects from 2023 that will finish up sometime next year. WJM 7's Michael Clark has an update tonight on the timeline for improvement on some of our area's most important roads. At times this year, parts of I-59 have felt more like Hattiesburg's Hardy Street on a Southern Miss game day weekend. The Mississippi Department of Transportation continues doing work on the busy interstate from Moselle to the Lamar County line. There's 39,000 vehicles that travel this corridor each day, so having a safe, smooth surface for motorists to travel on is very important. Right now, crews are working near Evelyn Gandy Parkway, but be prepared for more orange cones and lane closures around one of Hattiesburg's busiest interchanges in 2024. Fairly soon, uh, the work will be taking place right around the uh, US 49 and 59 interchange, and so that will, of course, be a challenge, and we just ask people to build a little bit more time into their commute each day if you can take an alternate route, um, depending on where you're going. A contractor is completing the project in sections. They'll eventually work around Around other busy interchanges like 59 and Hardy Street and 59 and US 11 later next year as they approach the finish line at the Lamar County line. MDOT hopes the entire project is complete by next fall. The concrete that was existing in the area um, was just in, in poor condition. So in order to improve that concrete, crews are going through and doing what's called rubbleizing it. So they're breaking it up into small pieces and those small pieces then serve as the stone base for a new layer of asphalt. Speaking of US 49, MDOT says most of the major work on the stretch from Southgate Road to the Stone County line is complete after a busy 2023. The safety improvement projects on 49 were done due to the truck crash data that we had. One of the biggest changes is a new traffic pattern called an ARCA. It limits drivers from cutting across all four lanes of the highway at intersections, hopefully reducing the number of crashes. What that does is that uh, forces a right turn to be made in that intersection and motorists with then go down just really a short distance and make a U-turn in order to go left and um, then go right into the next intersection. And that also lowered the grade to improve sight distance, built retaining walls and widened shoulders on 49. In 2024, mill and overlay work will continue between Myers Creek and US 11. The crews hope will wrap up by the summer. Finally, a historic bridge over the Tallahala Creek on State Route 42 will soon be a thing of the past. MDOT is working with a contractor to complete the new alignment and bridge by the summer as well. It served us well for many years, um, but now uh, standards are a little bit different and roads are built to accommodate larger vehicles. And so it was necessary for us to replace that truss bridge with a more modern concrete bridge. And again, that was Michael Clark. MDOT says all three of the projects in that story will be done in 2024. And of course, all of these timelines are weather permitting.